What it do, what it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Peace Dealer representing Infinity Gang, aka Infinity Clan Gang, aka Infinity Click, aka Infinity Club, aka Infinity Crew up in this bitch. Shout out to my infinites, aka my infinity heirs, where we don't have a bank that can hold the totality of our limitless link liquidation because we are worth forever. We got an infinite net worth. All right, all right. And our very existence is controversial and makes other people question if they even know what reality is. Our, our existence makes people realize that some of them are so broke, all they have is money and physical ass assets and nothing else really. Shout out to Finesse Fest, shout out to all you watching live, okay? Um, I really want you more than ever to play and take serious at the same time this idea of you being an infinity air and how to make sense of that practically because this is going to challenge your critical mind to overcome a lot of bullshit and illusions people with limited perspectives have lied to you about what value even is some of you have been lied to to believe that your value and net worth is only based on physical assets and you know fiat currency that fluctuates relative to the market when your value is limitless beyond anything that could be measured physically and so with the moon in scorpio that's going to help you understand how other people socially feel into what you're worth this will help you glean intangible wisdom so that you can look differently at what you have physically that innovates your own sense of confidence and value Okay, so shout out to those of you who are just joining me live. In honor of Scorpio being a social sign, I wanted to just walk around with y'all live here, show you my neighborhood. I guess that's more of a moon Gemini thing or a Gemini third house thing. But Scorpio, of course, being the psychological social sign, we're coming into an understanding of the social psychology around the awareness of our identity and individuality. Okay, and so this is going to give you an understanding about how you are transforming not only the awareness of who you are, but also how you express who you are relative to this evolution of your power that's effectively taking you to the next level, especially based on the actions you're taking to facilitate this. So let's let's get into some zodiac signs real quick. So we know that Scorpio is the eighth house of Aries. Hence, not only bringing in transformation, but intimacy and the results of partnerships. Now that you've understood, given that you have evolved who you are, this has helped you throughout the full moon in Libra understand the nature of what characters balance who you are so that you can bring more completion to how you express who you are. And now that the moon is in Scorpio, you're understanding wisdom about your value and relative to what you've done over the past two weeks, how do other people in society desire and value what you have? Which is why the moon in Taurus, part of this activation was so important. As you were activating this awareness of who you are, it was so important to ground physically the values of how you see that. Ooh, they're building something new out here. I've never seen this before. That stuff right there, that's awesome. So when we look at the eighth house science, the second house relative to Aries, right? Taurus is the second house of Aries, okay? The second house is your values, and your resources it's everything you have okay so through the market of virgo scorpio is now other people's resources that's why tax and certain protocol of government is eighth house 
because anyone who manages your money, if you think about a bank, a bank which holds money, which is a very Taurus second house enterprise, is now eighth house when you put your money in a bank. Because what are you effectively doing? You are trusting that bank with your resources off the faith that they're not going to steal your money and your money is safe there. Investments are a form of eighth house that you invest what you have into another broker so that they can increase it or work with it. Okay. So in understanding the science between this, the eighth house invites other people who you are partnered with to share their resources with you. If you think about the eighth house in terms of marriage, this is what brings in shared resources, joint bank accounts, and you can only achieve that with someone that you trust in a partnership with. If the seventh house Libra is agreements and contracts and partnerships, then the eighth house is what you are combining with those agreements, whether just your values or actual physical material, hence the need for this understanding of wisdom through Scorpio that through these experiences help you understand more based on other people's behavior who you can trust. So the reason why the eighth house is a huge facet of wealth, especially underground wealth, is because relative to the activation of what we know is valuable about ourselves, this is now where in bridging this socially through this harvest, we're harvesting our crops and we're starting to divvy up what you're understanding other people find valuable about it. And this is why the eighth house is the house of boundaries because people cross the line into your boundaries when they find stuff about you that they want. And if we don't draw proper boundaries, we will allow other people to just take from us without, of course, allowing other people to know what the limit of that is. Some people don't have boundaries and then they wonder why people just take advantage of them. When the ability to say no or draw these boundaries enable you to strengthen partnerships. And given that the eighth house is boundaries and the eighth house Scorpio is sexy, that's why drawing boundaries is very sexy. To be able to let someone know, no, this is the limit with which based and in order to draw proper boundaries, you need to have second house proper values. Because if you don't stand on any values, you're not going to really know when to draw these boundaries because you don't have any values you stand for. So this is the completion of what you did two weeks ago in manifesting the value of this evolution of your identity. And this is where you're getting ready to come into more of the results of this by understanding post full moon, the wisdom and the psychological nature of actions you'll be taking towards other people in your dealings with them that take the elements of your new superpowers you're evolving and show you how to deal with other people, show you how to take what you're worth in Taurus and present that to other people, all right? Basically, if two weeks ago, when the moon was in Taurus, you had created this innovative new product with Uranus that's gonna change the game, then this moon in Scorpio, you're in a shark tank. And now you're in front of investors and you're like, look guys, this is it. I'm the one, like this is what you need. Like you're gonna need to invest in this. And that's where you need to bring the confidence of the fifth house in Leo and the value in the second to present this. Once you pass that eighth house and the investors pass on you or go forward with you, that'll connect you to their 11th house of people they know that can now buy into what you have. The eighth house is the key and the gateway into the 11th because once someone trusts you, they can build a friendship with you or just keep you an open enemy in the seventh house. So this is a very, very important transit because of its opposition to Uranus and Taurus, because of its conjunction to the South Node at present, that's unlocking more wisdom related to past lives around who you are and trining Neptune will now link synchronicities you've gotten since last week to deepen the wisdom and meaning of what you've been picking up on. This is getting ready for the sun to conjunct Jupiter while the moon is in Sag. 
So we are in a breakthrough cycle. This harvest cycle is coinciding with the breakthrough arc. And so as the moon ascends into Sagittarius, all of this transformation in the darkness of the water of Scorpio is going to come to light. And you're going to see at a very high level how you have evolved your being and what this next level looks like. So you're going to really see what your superpowers look like, supercuts. And you're also going to really examine what you can accomplish 10th house in Capricorn based on what direction you move into. So I think one of the most important parts of this transit is this moon in Scorpio relative to this harvest. Because now that you've understood the direction with other people to move into, you know, now that you are more clear on how you understand the true nature of who you are, you're less willing to compromise about certain things relative to who you are. Now, when certain people hit you up to engage in your services, your price is your price. If they tell you that that's too high of a price, you tell them, I'm sorry, you're too broke. It is what it is. Maybe you should save up for my services since you think that they're just some convenience purses or lux, you know, instead of a luxury, or you think it's some kind of luxury instead of a necessity. This is going to, of course, strengthen your value in the face of those who wish to honor or undermine what it is you're worth. So be like, I'm sorry, it's not my fault that you don't know how to save money for something that's actually worth it. And so you're not going to let people play you because you worked to get to where you are anyway. And so as long as you just honor what's real about that, the universe is going to see that and be like, OK, I got to change the quality of who sent to you, because with your vibration, you just told me that that ain't it versus entertaining what's not what's less than what you're worth. And you telling the universe that you want more of that. Yes. Get in the practice of telling people like Dom Yvonne said, I'm sorry you can't afford me. I'm sorry you can't afford my time, my services or my money. I'm sorry I'm too much for you, basically. And in aligning that with your authenticity through this burst of Aries, it's preparing you for the final part of this transit that's going to break you through in everything you can do with who you are and who you're becoming, especially coming into Gemini season. So we've pretty much, we're on the verge of completion. And this moon in Scorpio is also going to reveal the secrets of transformation. Because you are completing this harvest, the effects of what you've planted, you're now ready to actually engage with them. And now if we put in other aspects in play like Mars and Cancer, and once again, Saturn and Pisces, this moon in Scorpio is gonna understand for you how to realistically connect your beliefs and your feelings together so you can feel in the direction that your beliefs are taking you so that you can move forward accordingly. <laughs> Shout out to those of you saying my hair grows back fast. Thank you. That's what's up. I was thinking, ah, oh, yeah, the beard came back too. So everything going up, even the dollar menu goes up. There we go. So in owning this sense of yourself, right? Um, This puts you in a position not only to connect these facets of your own metaphysical being, but since Jupiter is once again getting ready to start this new cycle with the sun, over the next three days, you are literally being drawn into a major evolution initiation. So <clears throat> we started the new cycle of evolution with the new moon, but the actual evolution cycle is kicking in in two to, two to three days. And for the moon to be in Sag, you're going to gain a higher understanding of what direction to take this. This can coincide with new opportunities that literally expand you forward. And so it's very important to understand the secret behind your worth. It's very important to understand the secrets based on how other people react or respond to what you're worth that will let you know your value. 
And for some of you, that's going to be indirectly where people say really bad things about what you have, but they were not able to say one thing objectively bad about it. So indirectly, that lets you know you actually have a good service or product. If there's not anything objectively bad, people can critique about it. That'll let you know if they're hating or if they're actually giving you something constructive. Because there's a psychologically manipulative quality to the moon, especially in its fall in Scorpio, where if elements of your value intimidate other people because of their inability to accept that they're not separate from you, they're going to, out of their own insecurity, find ways to indirectly make you feel bad about everything that you should feel good about yourself. But like them, you are not a stupid, weak little bitch. So instead, you're going to take those same tendencies and tactics and just reveal and expose through your own authenticity the nature of these people's characters by not giving them the rise that they want out of you, by recognizing where this insecurity is coming from, and by being willing to, you know, once again, just put them in their place. Look, I'm sorry you're a stupid, weak little bitch. I'm sorry that I'm so authentic in myself that it makes you feel insecure. You don't, you, you don't have to be a bitch. You can just be my bitch. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do all this extra stuff. So it is what it is. You know, I'm sorry you can't afford me or, or whatever. So just be, just be very mindful of that. And this is definitely going to facilitate with this King Kunks, this closing King Kunks, relative to the opening King Kunks in Virgo, everything that you are getting ready to complete once again, relative to this harvest. So it's a lot to look forward to once again. The secrets that you uncover, you're going, there's going to be, there might even be people who try and expose you and in trying to expose you, they just expose that you're actually a good person and it backfires because they try to lie to expose you versus telling the truth, which obviously they didn't want to do that because they didn't want to make you look good. So this is where like nothing real can be threatened. Anything that feels threatened is not real because it's fake. So just you being really yourself is enough. Don't ever forget that. You are enough. And based on how you transform your dealings with others, it's going to expose secrets about how powerful you've become. And as we complete this cycle throughout the rest of the transits, coming back into the new moon in Aries at the final degree, this will load up this evolution of power for you to express in a new way that takes to the next level everything you've been doing your whole life now that you have leveled up how you see yourself. Yeah, you have people who are just going to be effortlessly envious of you and jealous but refuse to, you know, accept that that's what they are because they're in denial. And you're going to feel those vibes with the moon in Scorpio. But I'm not telling you to turn the other cheek. I'm just telling you to see it as it is. Nothing that should even get under your skin. Because anyone feeling jealous or envious of you is there admitting that they feel like you're better than them. And so if that's where they're at in their life, let them feel that. I'm petty, so I like to rub it in. And I just like to be like, oh, you're jealous of me, bitch? You're envious of me, bitch? Of course you are. But that's how I use my Gemini. Anyway, yeah. Really, really enjoy the profound intuitive revelations you're going to come into because they will once again work to transform and ascend coming out of this breakthrough, how you apply this new wisdom of yourself. And the opposition to Uranus is going to take the extra dimensional supernatural quality of energy you're harnessing and link it to this pure place from yourself relative to the wisdom you're gaining about yourself from past lives so that you can deepen the intensity with which you harness and channel energy, which will now open up more that you can do to transform your own physiology moving into Taurus season. So really listen to what the moon in Scorpio reveals because it's going to be so fucking profound. And then you're going to see the meaning of that coming into the moon in Sag.
Okay. Other than that, y'all stay blessed as always. I think you're going to get ready to harvest the manifestation of the value of your own character. And this is going to begin to, coming into Sagittarius, show you what your superpowers actually look like with this full clarity. Okay? You guys stay blessed as always. And for those of you who would still like a reading, I still do have my 50% off sale that you more than you more than ever uh, are welcome to engage in. And yeah. Um, that's good, man. Yeah, you, you, you still could, uh, the, the discount is automatic. So it's an automatic 50% discount. And if you would like a transit forecast or a natal chart reading, you know, I got you. Make sure you tune in uh, at 4 p.m. PST. I'm gonna do the quantum invocation ceremony and I'm gonna do the cosmic energy tune up. This one's gonna be potent as fuck because it's a Jupiter sun. So this is definitely a time capsule for y'all. That's an Infinity Club exclusive. But if you catch the live, you'll be able to at least see the live, okay?